and I'm going to introduce David properly. So I think everybody knows, all right, at this stage. Um, what I did, uh, David, uh, we've gone to the top, to the top of the tree. Uh, there's no point in uh, going halfway down. So it's an absolute privilege, honestly, to have David here after um, <laughs> uh, so many years of trying and getting him over. So um, I think two All-Irelands, a couple of, have you done every provincial? Leinster was the last one. Leinster. Yeah. You haven't done a Leinster final? No. It's disgraceful. Uh, minor, yeah. under 21? Club. Under 21 club? Under 21 and club. Yeah. And club. And uh, pretty much, he still, and he even refereed a GGE final as well, and an Iberian final which he puts on his CV. Uh, <laughs> um, all yours, David, all right? Morning. 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 Um, uh, this um, might seem strange that, that you guys have access to uh, an All-Ireland referee coming all the way out to Europe uh, to talk to you guys about uh, Gaelic games, but for me, I'm a bit of a referee nerd. I love rules. And I'm also a teacher, so when you put the two together, that's why I'm here. I absolutely love it. I love going to workshops. I love helping people um, understand this. So this is a really difficult book to read. Uh, it's really difficult to understand, and it's really difficult to implement. So we're going to uh, try and get through um, a couple of things in relation to it this morning. We're going to start with the heavy stuff. So this is real higher order thinking this morning, um, and we're going to deal with the topic of respect. We're going to get down to the rule book and the language of the rules and how we understand them, um, how we implement them and apply them later on. We're going to start with the heavy stuff. Just 15 minutes on this this morning because one of the things that we want the most when we're on the pitch is for players, managers and spectators to respect us and to respect our decisions. And we wear this lovely logo on our, uh, on our tops, give respect, get respect. But we're always the ones giving the respect, but it's very hard then to get it back. And people say, well, why do we do it? Why, why are we constantly giving respect if we still are berated because of our decisions or ridiculed or laughed at or made belittled because of what we do? So it's just to get an understanding of what respect is this morning. So there are quick aims. So identify and describe, recognize and apply and related to key messages when you get, when, when you get back out onto the pitch. So the Respect Initiative is uh, developed by the GAA and it is looking for players to promote the game in a positive, fair and enjoyable manner where players, coaches, spectators get to enjoy it. Um, so what does it mean to you? And this is the problem. If we were to look at what respect means to everybody, we're going to come down and find we have a problem. So I'm going to ask you to take out just a pen or a piece of paper there in twos or in threes. Very simple and write down your own personal definition of respect. All right? So if you thought you were going to sit here this morning with a teacher and do no work, it's not happening. It's going to be a little bit interactive. So just a, just a one-liner, a one-liner of what you think respect is. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? No, it's not. And yet we tell everybody we want respect but we don't know what it is, all right? It's really, really difficult. And when I throw this out to other referees, even not just at your level, even at inter-county level, and we, we say we wear this badge, I say, but what is it? What do you want? You tell everyone you want respect, but you can't tell me what it is. And this is real, this is why we're starting my very higher order thinking this morning. I won't kill you for the rest of the day. This will be the, the, the worst thing you have to do. Is this striking a chord with you? That you, 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 you want something, but you actually can't tell me what it is you want? Okay. Yeah? Are, 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 we, are we getting an understanding here of why we might not then get respect? Because we can't define it. So, um, we can't reflect on it then. Has anyone got any words written down? Any, any key words in a sentence that they have written down? Anything? Dignity, okay. Dignity. Acceptance, okay. Consideration. 
Yep. Gratitude. Gratitude. <laughs> Compassion. Humility. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're good there, we're good there. Would anyone use empathy? Empathy, yeah. So now, what happens is, we've all these beautiful words up there, and I'm going to say to you, okay, empathy, what does that look like for you on a football field? And we're back again. Okay? So very, very few people, when I presented on this first to the referees in 2019, they could not believe their lack of understanding of what respect was. And it's a very, very hard thing to define. Okay? So, what we usually did was we wrote a sentence, we got people to cross out all the ands and the des and the is and the small words, and we put in what was left, which is what we have here, these type of words. But what we found out was that everyone else's definition or understanding of respect was different to the person beside them. So what my tolerance level is on a day, or what my life experiences are, um, and how I define respect is going to be different in how you define it, how you define it, and how you define it. So everyone's level of understanding of respect was different. So, if we had to take out the English dictionary, which was the only way I could explain this to referees, this is the definition of what respect is. To show or feel differential regard for, to avoid violation or interference with, the stage of being regarded with honor or esteem, or willingness to show consideration or appreciation. That is the dictionary definition of respect. You're now looking going, what the hell has that got to do with Gaelic games? What has that got to do with Gaelic games? So my job on the morning then was to try and tie that into our understanding of what respect was and bring it to life on the pitch. To show regard for. This is Dean Rock's tweet after the All-Ireland um, semi-final beating of Kerry in 2016. An epic game of football, tough battle to say the least. I mean, that's one of the O'Shea brothers leaving the field of play and I think it was his last ever game. That is to show differential regard for. Not for himself, for someone else. So it's showing regard for someone else. And that could be us as referees showing regard to players and expecting them to show regard to us. The state of being regarded with honour. Now I'm hoping this link will work. It depends on the... Um, will it open? It's not playing for me. Okay. So that is, um, I'm just, it, what it was, was a, a clip of the Sunday game from about 2018 or 2019. And one of the um, Tipperary hurlers was after coming back onto the field after battling testicular cancer. And the whole clip is around the analysts in the studio in RTE talking about the honour this player bestowed on the team and on himself and on his family because he had battled cancer and come back to compete in our greatest stadium in an All-Ireland semi-final. And that's the state of being regarded with honour. And we want to be regarded with honour as referees. And our honour, our greatest honour for you guys might be refereeing the Gaelic Games Europe final or whatever final it is in whatever code and whatever country. And that people might come up to you afterwards and say, my God, you did a great job of that. Isn't that enough for respect, isn't it? Would you consider that respect? The same way you might say to a player after the game, you played really well, well done. Very simple, but it's the state of being regarded with honour or esteem. This one, to avoid interference with, or violation or interference with. That's Morris Deegan shaking hands after a game with Killian O'Connor. Why did I put Killian O'Connor up there? Killian is Mayo's main and free taker. How long does he take to take his free kicks? Somewhere between 50 seconds to a minute and 10 seconds. That's a long time for a referee to stand and allow someone to go through their kicking routine, 
before they go to put the ball over the bar, just like the guys do in the Six Nations or whatever it is, they're going through their kicking routine. If that was a corner back and you were after giving a free out for a ball being picked off the ground, would you give them a minute and 10 seconds? No. No. So it's, it's a different understanding of what our respect is for a person going through their kicking routine and we avoid interference or violation of that because we understand. Just the same way that they avoid interference or violation with me after a melee and I'm saying, stand back, I need to consult with my match officials, you need to give me time here. That's respect. You're asking for time, you're asking for space and you're asking for an allowance and an understanding and an acceptance that you're going to do your job. That's how that manifests itself in the field. And the last one, willingness to con show consideration or appreciation. These are three former uh, inter-county players. I think I'm going to have to go close to the screen. It looks like Jer Brennan, maybe Paul Flynn, I'm not sure, and Owen Cadigan coming out um, after 2015 when Gaelic Games, the GPA for women was, was being set up and uh, they came out and showed appreciation and consideration. So we have that now in various different guises when we had the guys and the girls coming together for their GPA. We have uh, Gaelic players for Palestine at the moment. They get involved with the Stardust Inquiry. Uh, so it's a, it's a willingness to show consideration for something else outside of, of Gaelic Games, the greater good not just what we see on the pitch. All right? Is that a, a, an understanding of what respect is? Have you a better understanding now than what you did at the beginning? Okay. How are you going to get it then on the pitch? Stay calm, stay controlled, and treat everybody the same, irrespective of if they are the best player on the pitch or someone you don't know. Try and address players in their first name. If you can, if you know them, you'll probably know most of them from tournaments. Try and address them in the first name. If not, just be polite to them and say number nine, number eight, and speak to them in this calm, relaxed manner. Never get any more heated. You're not there to berate them. You're not there to belittle them. So if you don't do that, well, then you can expect they don't do that back to you. But as soon as you raise your voice, they raise theirs, it doesn't make you more right, and it just escalates. You always have to stay calm, controlled and measured. And you will hear later on that the type of conversation I'm having with you right now is the exact same tone and type of conversation I'm having on the pitch in the middle of all Ireland finals. It never goes, goes above this level. There's no need. Rarely, on a rare occasion, in a very heightened, heightened match, you might speak a little bit quicker or you might need to be heard and you might have to raise your voice. But generally, when you're talking to players, it's just a conversation. And that's how we, yeah. we deal with respect. I'll give you one then. So to help you guys with that, the greatest thing you have to bring to, pit, to the pitch is self-control. OK, little tip, self-control. Who does it belong to? Yourself. Yourself. Everyone else can try to make you lose it. Who's the only person that can lose it? Yes. If you understand that concept, that you're the only one that can lose your self-control, it's a much easier thing to ha hang on to. Everyone else can try and make you lose it, but if you can just hang on to it yourself, that's the most important thing. And that's what JJ talked about consistency earlier. We're all trained in the rules in the same way. We all attend the same courses, we all read the same book. Why is there not consistency? There's not consistency because we're all human beings. We're all unique, we all bring different things to the pitch, we all have different upbringings, life experiences to bring out onto that pitch. And that's why we'll never get consistency. We try our best, but the way I might referee a game is going to be totally different to the way JJ does it. And that's just life. And that's why we don't get to the level of consistency we always like to. But we try hard. But the most important thing is, you all keep your self-control because you know going to these tournaments, you're going out at nine o'clock in the morning to referee your first match. <coughs> you could have been out the night before. You mightn't feel great. The players might have been out the night before. They mightn't feel great. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to six o'clock in the evening and you're expected to referee the final, you're wrecked, they're wrecked, your tolerance levels are on the floor. And it's a really difficult thing because you've probably 24,000 steps done, maybe something like that, and you're knackered. 
and you're expected to go out and perform at the best level because this is the final. And it's not easy. It's not, I've done them. It's bloody hard. It's much harder than refereeing a club inter-county game, a club or an inter-county game, because you're tired. So just remember that, and remember that you have your self-control and that only you can lose it. Is that all right? That's all I'm going to touch on on, on respect.